Well, here we go, everyone. Disney is remaking yet another movie. Because, of course, why not? Why not just remake all the movies? You know, maybe in like another five years or so, Disney's going to start remaking the remakes of the remakes, you know? It's like a constant cycle now with Disney where it's, it's just proof. It's proof that Disney is creatively bankrupt. Com completely. Completely creatively bankrupt. Bankrupt. So Disney reportedly is planning to remake The Rocketeer. Now, some of you might not even know what The Rocketeer is, but it was this movie that came out in the 90s, I believe. Um, it was a film that I really enjoyed when I was a kid. I really, really enjoyed the heck out of this movie. It was fun. It was kind of like a superhero type of movie in a way. Um, but it was kind of like, very. it was very funny the way that they made it. And uh, it was it was just a really really fun movie to to watch. I haven't seen it in quite a while, so I don't remember too much about the the specific details about the movie. But I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it a lot, and I have enjoyed it every time that I've seen it. So yeah, this was another movie that was made by Disney that Disney is indeed going to be remaking because, like I said, of course, why not? They they might as well just remake all the movies, right? Um. Disney is completely out of ideas now, you know, um, and they, they, the only thing that they want to do now is just continue to rehash, uh, make sequels, reboots, all of that type of stuff. It's, it's getting really tiresome. It really, really is. There's not a single original movie coming out of Disney anymore. And it's, it's really sad. It really is. So let's go into get, get into this article here. Um, 20 years before he directed Captain America, the first Avenger, Joe Johnson helmed another superhero movie. The Rocketeer was a throwback to adventure serials of the 1930s and 40s, starring Billy Campbell as Cliff Seckard, a stunt pilot with a jetpack who battled Nazis in old time Hollywood. Though it was a financial disappointment for Disney in 1991, it's developed a cult following over the years. How much do you want to bet that the, the remake won't have Nazis? I, I highly doubt that Disney would be putting Nazis in a remake for this. Given that the widespread popularity of superhero cinema nowadays, it's no surprise that the studio is apparently working on remaking it. Because of course! And it's not just because of superhero movies nowadays, it's because Disney is just going to remake everything that they have. We got this covered as been informed by our source, the same one who revealed that an Aladdin sequel was in the works month, last month before it got confirmed this week, that Disney is looking to reboot the property. It seems the project is in its earliest stages though, as we've heard that it could either develop into a movie or TV show set for Disney+. Plus. And how much do you want to bet? How much do you want to bet that when they remake The Rocketman, which in fact had a straight white dude in the lead, how much do you want to bet that the remake is going to have probably, probably a female, uh, probably a female um, of color. That's my guess. That is going to be my guess. Probably a black female. I mean, come on. It's, it's so predictable now. It's absolutely so predictable now. That's all the info we have at the moment. So it's unclear whether this latest stab at the franchise is related to the last attempt to remake The Rocketeer. If you'll recall, back in 2016, it was announced that Disney was developing The Rocketeers, a Jurassic World-like reboot sequel, which would pick up six years after the events of the original film and feature a... <laughs> oh my gosh, really? And feature a black female pilot inheriting Seckard's jetpack. What did I tell you? <laughs> oh my gosh. This, they're, they're, oh my gosh, this is way too predictable now. It's way too predictable. And this was back in 2016. Like, yeah, this, oh my gosh. Because of course, of course, everything, everything needs to be woke nowadays. Right, Disney? Everything. Everything needs to project your your identity politics, your political narrative. That's just the way that you run everything nowadays, isn't it? It's, a, it's all about the money. It's all about money. It's all about your political narrative. It has nothing to do with story. It has nothing to do with character. Those things are dead in Disney. 100% dead. It's all about the money, and it's all about political narrative. Political agenda. That's literally the only things that Disney cares about now. I mean, it's it's true. It's, it really is. It really, 
really is, and it's sad. It really is sad. Things have gone quiet quiet on that front ever since, though. Still, it's possible that Disney has dust dusted the idea off now, or else they've decided to go in a completely different direction with it. I can guarantee you one thing, that the, the movie is not going to have a white male in the lead. I can tell you that right now. Perhaps they've come to the conclusion that the original is not well enough well known enough to deserve a nostalgic sequel and they're going to simply reboot it instead that could be one option that's just speculation on our part which is probably what they're going to do in any case when news of the reboot emerged in 2016 numerous filmmakers reacted to it on social media putting their names forward to it possibly helm the pick these included future spider-man into the spider-verse director peter ramsey and aquaman's james wan so clearly the project could attract some real talent if it gets off the ground, and we're hopeful that we'll learn more about this new Rocketeer sooner rather than later. And look, that's exactly why Disney continues to do this. That's exactly why Disney continues to make these reboots and remakes. It's because people just mindlessly gobble it up. People just mindlessly consume it, and it's there. Disney's basically just feeding one giant brainless machine at this point, and. Disney's like, hey, this is an easy way to make money. People continue to watch our remakes and reboots, so let's just make them. We don't have to put much effort into into anything. We'll just kind of crank one out, and people will go see it because that's just the way the system works, and we'll just wash, rinse, repeat, and do it again. That's how Disney operates now. And, um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm getting tired of it. I am getting sick and tired of it because it is slowly and surely disintegrating and corrupting all of our franchises that we've grown to love over the years and it's not just disney it's it's a lot of a lot of people in hollywood but disney is hands down leading the charge in all of this for sure um anyway let me know in the comments below what do you think about the situation what do you think about this uh this new information about a rocket rocketeer reboot because of course why not right <laughs> Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think, and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Thank you